Imagine you're a woman in Jesus' time, but not just anyone. You're Mary Magdalene. You've had demons torment you and your dignity stripped. Then a stranger comes along. He's powerful. He changed your life with a few words and healed you from the inside out. You know him to be the Son of God, the Most High. And for some reason, he chose to care about you, to restore you and your dignity with his pure love. You follow him wherever he goes, including to the foot of his cross, because he's your freedom. You're broken again as you watch him breathe his last breath. And you wonder as you mourn from Friday to early Sunday morning if you'll ever breathe again. So when Jesus rose from the grave in complete victory over death, who did he choose to share that moment with first? Mary Magdalene, a woman with a past who desperately needed hope. Isn't that just like our Savior? It shouldn't shock us that he did the culturally unexpected. It should delight us that he was still on the same mission after his resurrection. Jesus came for all, including broken, lowly people desiring divine love and acceptance. It didn't matter to Jesus if Mary was male or female, powerful or poor. It mattered to him that she came looking for him. So he showed up in the biggest way possible, showing himself resurrected and commanding her to tell the disciples the good news. God's mission never changes. He doesn't care where you've been or what you've done. He's waiting to meet with you each day as you come near, empty-handed, believing in the hope of your Savior's unexplainable love.